up here. Today we are going to be doing a fun experiment in our front yard. It will be easy to clean up as we are doing it outside. We are going to um, make the impression in plaster of pears. Sounds interesting, right? First, we need to add some plaster of Paris powder to a glass. Add enough water to make a thick paste. Look at this green leaf we got from it. It's from a tree. I'm gonna apply the paste on the back side of the leaf to see whether I can make an impression. That doesn't look like a good option to make the impression. We're gonna change our strategy. For a thick layer of plaster of Paris on a plastic sheet. Here comes the challenging part. Slowly place the leaf on the top of the plaster of Paris and press it gently. We are going to make more impressions. Now pour another thick layer of plaster of Paris in a bowl. I'm going to slowly place a leaf inside of it. I also placed an alphabet into it. Wow, look at that, the leaf and the alphabet impression. This plaster of Paris is dry enough. It's time to take out the leaf and check the impression. Slowly take it out so you don't break it. Look at this! Beautiful leaf casting we made. The leaf veins are clearly visible. We're gonna make some prints in the plaster of Paris with alphabets. It's so fun and amazing. And I like to make more. Slowly take out the materials from the plaster of Paris. Now we are going to paint our impression. I'm going to be using brown. I will start with green. Here's my leaf. Do you like the plaster of Paris? Do try this at home. It's fun. 
Plaster is a building material used for the protective or decorative coating of walls and ceilings. It is also used by doctors for, support, for supporting fractured bones. The name Plaster of Paris came from the fact that it was first of all made by heating gypsum, which was mainly found in Paris. The most common types of plaster mainly contain either gypsum, lime, or cement. When plaster is mixed with water, it is transformed to make a stiff paste. When plaster of Paris and water are mixed together, they undergo a chemical change. The, the particles rearrange to make a completely new substance. When plaster of Paris and water are mixed together, the mixture becomes warm, releasing energy in the form of heat. The reaction with water liberates heat throughout crystallization, and the hydrated plaster then hardens. Crystallization is the process by which a solid forms. An important question to, to all. Can plaster of Paris get wet? The answer is no. If the cast starts to dissolve in water, it won't hold the bone in place. Face casting. This is a fun experiment to share with family and friends, so please do try it at home. Please subscribe to our channel and bye. Bye. Bye.